the texture of your hair. Hey, we're back with live Ruin Who. And you know, when it's a live show, you really never know what is going to happen. Do you, do you see that now? You never know. It's expect the unexpected. That's one of my favorite lines. And I did not expect you. You are totally unexpected. Well, I don't know if it is good or bad, but uh, are you honest, Abe? Yes. So, honest, Abe, tell me the dark, honest truth. Why are you so late? Honest thing is, did the dog eat the homework? I mean, yes, yes, like a so you're going to blame the MTA? How far did you come from? Like another state? I was on the way to Okay. Crown Heights is not that far. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we're so happy that you're here. And you're going to have to come again to get a longer time slot because we're at the tail end of the show, but I really am so glad to see you. So, um, you're a spoken word artist. Is this right? Can you do something right now for me? Like a little spoken word of purge your soul? <laughs> All right. Um, what's that? It's, um, this one is called Sons of Society. Sons of society, bow and scarlet leather and Sydney are tattooed to our souls in a pessimistic world where I'm caught under the duties, but when your boy bread is no good, no great becomes the next plateau. And a fatherless child almost always becomes less of a father to his sports, pawn to the street. A young brother with cyanide scented morals, breathing arsenic, is out in the short term future ahead. The path he leads, no guardian angel wants to sacrifice his wings to save him. The burden a man like this carries also heavy. Every trigger pulled in and around his sights is another hem like the match of these gasoline drawers on by him. My torment is not too different, but different. A master at baiting torment the stick of kid mentality. Family, friends on the low, all the victim ends. Should have forgotten. Self worth is the only sense I have to have. Make sense of a troubled time. Student of life, learning to ease my troubled mind. Should have forgotten. Judgment excludes no one in the end. Hand, head, heart, soul, call it cut, play and death defined games of how the Scorpio got stung by an ex with Brooklyn Brown Bomber battle tactics, so the Joe Lewis enemy couldn't fully box his way out of statistic anarchy. Came a high school dropout, hung with the wrong crowd, but got that GED, could buy the street and book knowledge to break into college. Year and a half in it, lost my Marcus Garvey will along the way. Let us stray like Malcolm say by the sex, the lust, the money, and the love of the drugs. Even the pictures. Spare the garden park to help me see the picture more clearly so lack of focus continues. The Illuminati society always hung me with my soul on a menu. OG for my slangers and hustlers told me to break away from the suckers and busters. Too much liquor will kill you quicker and stay true to your heart. The mind and eyes can play tricks. Words are powerful and can be misleading. So believe half of what you hear and none of what you see. The system was designed to get the best of we. And simply just a prelude to finding my solace. Going to redemption is next with the underdog battle cry. Let the ink of my God commission sacrifice like Abraham be the bullets. Let my pen be the gun. Till I rain down just to find hope. The heavens help heal the sins. Brooklyn's Lost son riding to my kingdom comes. Wow! Now, uh, there's, you know, I'm going to have to replay that and listen over and over because you touched on so many spots there. Like, so many things. Now, how long does something like that take you to write? Um, actually, it's like, it goes with the theme of my recent album. It's called. So you said something in there that is something that I say all the time. Like, I, I believe everything and nothing that everybody tells me. And I feel like you kind of hit on that. In, in Do you remember that yeah. one? Yeah. Was well, to be powerful and misleading. Yeah. And then you said something about, like... Be careful what you hear and not what you see. See? Good for you, Joe. Yeah. yeah, right? I know. I love it. So, do you live near the museum? Um, I used to live near the um, museum. Yeah. Um, I used to live like only blocks away, but like I'm a bit deeper in Crown Heights now. So, how is Crown Heights these days? Um, section I'm in now is like not really all um, that different <laughs> than the part I was living in. I mean, the 
the slight differences, but still the usual, like, um, shady stuff, and all that stuff, but, like... It's like the religious, and then there's shady, like... Yeah, but... It's such an interesting... It's like living in a movie, I feel, Cran Heights reminds me of. Kind of, like, stuff, like, still goes on in the old neighborhood, but you still still see it, but it still actually goes on, so it's kind of, like, similar to that. Did you grow, are you from there? Like, were you yeah, raised there, uh, born there? I'm born and raised in Brown Heights. Um, great, Canadian and Heritage, West Indian and Heritage. Wow. So, um, have you ever lived anywhere outside of Brooklyn? Um, no. I've been most like lived in Brooklyn, Brown Heights, Have you ever been on an airplane? Yes. Where have you been? Um, I've been to Brooklyn, New York, 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 um, in Virginia, places in the South. Okay, so where do you perform? Do you do you get to do this? This comes out of your soul, obviously. How long yeah. have you been writing? Um, been writing since like probably nine or ten years old. Writing like short stories, essays, songs. Good for you. Um, poems came more relevant like toward the end of high school, so in college, so I started writing more poems and like I got to performing scene around like 2006, 2007. Um, been like performing like, like pretty much, it's my sixth year performing all this. Um, I've been like all around the Tri-State area and different parts of the country as well. Have you won any awards? Um, I've won you should. slams. Um, I've won slams at the um, Bowery Poetry Club. Nice. Um, I've performed, I've featured more, multiple times at the Eureka Poets Cafe. I love that um, place. Do you have anything coming up? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually have a show this Saturday um, at the uh, Underground. Um, National for, Underground? Um, I think it's just, um, I think there's more than one place that's on. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, but it's, it's for the seventh edition of the New York edition of the Indie Soul Mix. Good for you. It's run by a man named Mike Ashley. He does it, I think, um, down in Atlanta as well as in London. Um, it's going to be great to be part of that for the first time. And I have another show this coming Sunday. It's actually um, called Video Lunch. It's a um, erotic show and with BDSM demonstrations. Wow. So, um, have you done that before? Um, yeah, I've done shows. Like so, what kind of demonstration? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I pay myself. Um, <laughs> so, um, you really like anything like familiar with BDSM, um, um, tying people up, um, whips, um, electricity, and all that. So, like, wow, you know, so it's real shocking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so like, like, exactly. Oh, I don't know what to expect this Sunday, but like, I'm sure it'll be interesting. So, and where's that? Um, it'll be at a place called A Fair, a bar. Um, Bar Fair. It's like F A F F A I R E. Um, and you don't know where the underground is? is? The underground is. I've, I've been to it before. It's in the Lower East Side. Um, it's in um, not too far away from. Is it on Houston? Yeah. So it not is the far. National Underground. It has to be. Yeah. No. Well, it's probably, it still says Underground on the outside. I've been there before, but like that's what it said on the outside. It's, that's the official yeah. name. Then. People might want to come see you, you know, you should know, right? But that's like, that's the type of I saw. Underground. Yeah, that's what it said about Is it on Houston, like this side, like, and then Allen Street is here, and then you go downstairs, or stay straight? No, it's stay straight. It's walk straight to the back. It's like a back. It's the underground. Yeah, I know it. That's, you know who owns that bar? Um, Gavin DeGraw. Do you know who he is? Yeah. Do you know who he is? Have you ever worked on him? I have not. Because he said he, you know, he had a little problem last year where he yes. kind of needed you, Lorraine. So he had a little. Uh, he was beat yeah. up. Yeah. 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 That's awful. So Abraham, you are totally talented, and um, you're working on a new release. Um, yeah, actually, um, I recently finished a new book called Unlock Thoughts of Pop Assembly. Uh, I'd love to 
um, unloved thoughts of a prophet's temple, humble beginnings. So, yeah. do you consider yourself a prophet? Uh, of the sort? <laughs> I've been I've been named that a few times. I mean, I'll kind of like I'll accept the name of the territory. What does prophet mean to you? I mean, it's to me, it's like someone who's a prolific mindset, um, who usually who sees things like he postpones with like their third eye and sees it, um, things for what they are, and um, kind of has a prelude to like the future things to come via their words. So, who are your inspirations? I'm just curious. Um, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's, um, writing poets in general. Um, sure. Um, I, grew up, I grew up on a lot of um, Nancy Hughes, Mark Um I grew up on Maya Angelou. Um, that's a few of the writers I grew up on. Um, performance, as performance poets writers as well. Um, I grew up on, I, since coming into the industry, um, I grew up on um, people like um, Ainsley Bowes. Um, so did you read a lot Ainsley. when you were a kid? Like, were you always reading? Um, yeah, and like, as far as my writing goes, I was always complimented a lot for my writing, yeah. for my teachers, and like, some like probably before Good the for you. Day, so. That's awesome. So today happens to be National French Bread Day. Uh, and it's national, it's strawberry day only in California, but I love California. I don't know about you, but we have some French bread for you. Oh, and okay. um, we'd love for you to share a skeleton from your closet. So I'm sure you seem like this sweet prophet type guy that always has the right thing to say. But... Do you have any skeletons in your closet that you'd like to share and get rewarded for on, as the last skeleton of the day on Rowan Who? Wow. Skeletons. Yeah. You know, something that maybe your teacher said, hmm, what did you do again, Abraham Benjamin? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I remember an incident back in, like, um, it was, yeah, fifth grade. Um, where uh, I got found out that like it was like there's some like toys up in like the <laughs> up in like the other room, the classroom, and like um, I saw one that looked kind of like good and everything. Like I was playing with it most of the day, like turned out to be one of my favorite ones. Like before I knew it, like like ended up growing with me before I left school and stuff like that. So like I, I kind of almost got like caught out there um, later on, like a few days later. Like, I was fine. The teacher like knew I was one of the last ones up in there. Not that I could go and steal any from the record. Right. <laughs> um, but like that kind of like happened um, then, so a few days later, like I was, I was one of the only ones in that room at the time, one of the last people, and like I was one of the suspects. Got called, mom's got called out, and so that's never good for me. <laughs> oh, exactly. So, um, then like, I had to like deal with it, like almost, almost got suspended for it. Like, in fifth grade. Yeah. That's the worst thing you've ever done. Well, that's bad enough for today. Yes. All right, so let's 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 grab some. Yeah, I don't want you to you know. Get some time. Excellent. So why don't you take some French bread? Can you grab a piece in there? Um. And um and your website. How do people find you? Um, you can find me at um, www.reverbnation.com slash d t r u t h speaks. Um, I'm also on Facebook with the same backwards slash. And we'll have it on the Ruin Who page on Facebook, so you can come to our page. Don't forget to like it. Follow us on Twitter, and we will have all your information. Lorraine, what's your website? Your website is LorraineAbles.net. But are you, do you want people to come find you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't look for that. Don't look for her. She I want her to do my makeup one day. So, so uh, 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 later this year, June, um, actually, I have a new project coming out um, called the DNA Project. Um, I partnered up with a friend of the poet named David Woods and Lewis, and um, we started this group together about, about a year ago back in April. 
Oh, that's my daughter's birthday, June uh, 10. Well, maybe you can come back on the show with him and come a little earlier. We'll give you a longer spot. The two of you can do your thing. How's that? Oh, that sounds Would good. Would that be good? Yeah, I'll touch base with him and make this happen. Let's do it. The beginning of June or that the end good. of May, okay? Sounds good. Thank you so much for coming. Abraham Benjamin, it's a I'm pleasure. Sure. You're freaking awesome. You're amazing. Lorraine, thank you so much. All of our guests today, Donna, Susan, Zach Smith. Half Naked, The Muffin, The Other Zach, Avery, Allen, and Micah, and um, Abraham Benjamin. Thank you so much. Staff, Michelle, Caroline, No Future, everybody. Uh, we'll see you again next Wednesday at Otto Shrunk in the Head. Thank you. We'll be back. The the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man. Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose?